<laughs> Naked and Afraid XL is where they take past contestants of Naked and Afraid <laughs> and they put them all out there together. But they're in different spots and they've got to try and meet up and start Naked. together. Nude. They're, they're all completely, yeah, they're all completely nude. Yeah. That's how it, that's how it works. Wow. But like they all just have these clashing personalities and they can't just fucking get along. It's of brilliant. course they would. That's straight straight away that, yeah. that strikes me as too much sunburn cream. I'd be fucking burnt to a crisp within an hour. You There's wouldn't no, last two minutes. I yeah. would not last nude in any environmental situation. I was talking about this on the weekend. When was the last time you had you have you ever put taken your balls and put them in the sun? It's a gold coast it's a gold coast In the words before monkey, primal chaos reign. G'day viewers, I'm not going to lie, this one gets a little messy. On today's podcast I bring to you Stuart Williams from Derail, and the boys from Derail, Yarn and Tex. I put it to uh, Stewie Williams a few months back when I all had him on the podcast before that he needs to get this band together, and I'm stoked to say he brings it tonight. So we basically just uh, bang around and have a few beers and have a good laugh, uh, share a two, few stories, and um, they took my last beer. Thanks a lot! <laughs> anyway, this podcast was brought to you by Barry Oldmate and the Johnsons. I just say just quickly, um, don't introduce me as Nick if that's okay. Yeah. Just call me Yan. Yan the right. Yan. 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 Yeah. Yan. Yan. Like like a Y A N, but it's a silent J. Weird. Yan. All right. No, it's, it's, it's actually his first it's name. Dutch. It's actually his first. Oh, name. is it? Okay. Okay. Now let's do a line test, eh? Um, two. One, two, two, two. One, yeah, two. yeah, 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 yeah. You. Twenty dicks. <laughs> two for twenty-two. And what about me? I think I'm. <laughs> two for two. two Good for evening, Zach. Twenty-two. Sack. Hey, what's the band name? Derail. Derail. That's you can right. ask That's us Andy. that. You can ask us that. I'll tell you. What's my name? <laughs> Tex. Call him Tex. Here we are, boys. Here we are. Stuart Williams, welcome back, champion. Thank you very much, And brother. the boys from Derail. With the boys from Derail. Your Yarn. band. Your How are we doing? How are we doing? <laughs> Yarn and Tex. What do you play in the band, Yarn? I'm the uh, bullshit artist. I'm a singer. <laughs> singer, yeah. That's me. Yeah. Sings a Yarn. Who's you, uh, I thought that because you're the handsomest bastard in the room. Fucking bullshit. <laughs> Isn't he? <laughs> Isn't he? Don't even listen out there I like to this that, guy already. that shit. Don't even listen to that. It's ridiculous. What's happening in rock and roll land? Well, man, <clears throat> when, did we, when we talked, we talked last September, probably a fucking year ago or just under, and you kind of gave me the challenge of I had to get my shit together by March. I've kind of blown that way out, but... I did eventually start recruiting crew to do a project with, and I think tech- that's exactly right. You, you know, you came in, you had some riffs. You came in the second time. Um, we yep. played some even uh, a couple of couple of songs. Yep. And here we are, actually. <laughs> yeah. Down the road. What are yes. we? Seven months down the road. Oh. Six months down the road. You know. I hadn't forgotten, but wow, I'm realizing, mate, what a. Um, good mission that you put it together it's a while man it's a while so we did that and texas sort of been patting me on the bum the whole way give me a bit of um support not literally yeah <laughs> <laughs> and um you know and then we sort of faced the thing of coming up with a band name our songs and find yeah. a singer and right. that's where we left off last time i was i think tex and i were sort of looking at maybe a female vocalist and then and they got one <laughs> <laughs> And then Nick came into the picture, man, and, you know, right. Nick came in and just all lyrics yarn. from day one, bang, yarn. Yarn. Fuck, I fucked that Nick, already. Nick, yarn, whatever. Whatever you uh, want. Where, Sorry, why, people. Are you, uh, why are you called yarn? So my name is, is Yarn Nicholas Blom, um, mm-hmm. but you know, my mates call me Nick. Um, just with the band, I usually go with yarn because... Uh, uh, yeah, it's cooler. It's, mystique. it's my fucking it's name. It's cooler. <laughs> I was in a band and we all named ourselves backwards, like 
You know, it was Word, Drew Word. Word. Tanag Grant. That backwards. actually works, but Word. So, it know, does, yeah. It's good. Well, you know why? It's because you're having a, like a – everyone knows that when you get on stage, you're not the person you were. Throw that guitar on, a bit of volume, and a, and a few people watching you become, uh, I don't know. The alter ego. The, 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 At least your name wasn't Lana. <laughs> <laughs> Lana. <laughs> Lana. That's Texas uh, name Arena. backwards. Yeah. <laughs> S- spell it backwards. Is I that know. yarn? No, anal. Come on. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Dude, have me finish this beer. <laughs> I get too fast for me. We got into the gutter pretty quick there. We, we? Yeah. we did get into the gutter pretty quickly. So, yeah, so these guys come along, okay. man. Okay. And just it's all about the gutter, you know. The, um, well, well, tell me a story. What's been I'll happening? tell you a story. So Tex and I started writing. Well, I wrote some basic riffs. I programmed the drums. I did the bass. Then Tex came in, re-recorded. Um, all the other – so say I've got my guitars pan, hard left, hard right. Tex came in, re-recorded a whole half of the band and Tex and I worked on those songs, producing them, getting the whole thing ready for a vocalist. And then I think we had – what do we have, man? We had – I think we had five songs at the time. Um, and then one – five – well, we had five, maybe six. We, we had, had six, six. I think. Yeah, yeah we had six. Um, and then – you know, we kind of to and fro these songs and Tex kind of came back and said, I had earlier demos of stuff I'd done, but if you listen back to the earlier podcast, I think I told you about I lost all my recordings on Pro Tools. So all the, all the master tracks I lost, I only had these mixes. So I've been sending Adam these songs for... Uh, 18 months. Uh, yeah, 18 yeah. months, man. And, um, and then... Um, he's kind of gone back to me and gone, nah, man, look... Oh, this- so is Adam, is that your guitar playing on those... Yeah, so yeah, yeah. So Adam's on the, all these That's tracks as good. well. Man. Yeah. It's such good. You, the way, Stewie, the way you record, like home, you, it's doing. You're doing it at home, right? Like so home recording. It is so, <laughs> yeah, but it's so massive. Like the, the we've said this before. Anyone now in this day and age can just go and record stuff. But it's it's good to know that only a certain amount of people have good ears. We hope like, so. And people get bored with it. And you know, I mean, here we are, eight months later. When you've got a product, you know, you've formed a band, but you've got great sounds. I don't know anyone that can make a bigger sound. When you play, when I first heard the stuff you um, played, yeah, me, I was like, this is, this is, as, this fills my stereo just as big as any mass produced <laughs> deal. Excellent. That's the first thing that caught my ear too when he started sending me uh, tracks. Yeah. Um, you know, I heard that sound and I just, I said, Stu, I want to be a part of this, you know, I reckon yeah. I can. I can jump in and put some guitar to it. And Why is it? Like, do you have to do much more? Okay, here's a, here's a guitar nerd question, right? <laughs> if I was to play whatever it is, Adam, that you, or Tex, that you're playing out of your, let's pretend, just pretend it's a, a Flying V and a Marshall stack. Let's just pretend. Yep. We'll get to what you do later. Close. Yep. Close. Yeah? Mm. yeah? And then it comes to record and get this massive sound. Is it a letdown when you play it live in the studio room? Like, no, I don't think it's, I think it's going to be even more fucking brutal live. Right. Because we've got some pretty serious amps. We've got some pretty serious backline coming. Okay. Um, yeah. I yeah. just think that when I hear uh, bands like uh, like Devin Town- – what's his name? Devin, Devin Townsend, yeah. You know, with these huge – and surely when you actually start jamming with four dudes in the room, there's a, like a, a, something you have to do with your mind yep. to get it back to that record sound, you know? I was, I'll put it's it up to the mix. I was always in bands that sound like ACDC. That's why I'm saying it. Ah, strip back. This is massive sound, yeah. you know, that it's, I could never create. It's up create. to the mix. You've got to have a good guy behind the desk as well, you know, because yeah. obviously on stage sure. you can have it sounding great, but out the front it might not necessarily sound yeah. as big. It's a team. Yeah, you need a good team. We yeah. have a lot of – we have a, a couple of fucking old school crew around us from who have done years of stuff. For, so from live, I'm not really worried about – yeah, delivering we got we got guys in mind that are yeah. going to help us achieve that sound live yeah Still. yeah what guitars are you re- using anyway <laughs> um oh he tells you yeah to, nerd out give us some guitar him, nerd gear i love him. it oh, i got a few esps horizons wow that sort of stuff um gibson sg <laughs> that's what she said gibson sg um yep. prs wow guitars. what's your favorite one probably one of the esps yeah he's got he's got the um He's got ESPs. They're a big dollar guitar, right? Like, yeah. a, a, I'm not going to ask you how much, but that's uh, the, um, Metallica Land ESP. Helmet. Helmet. Right, really? Helmet, yeah. The pink. He's got the two pinkies, which are, if you watch 
Helmet's um, unsung video clip. Or Paige Hamilton has played this thing for, what, forever, man. Yeah. He's got those ones. And wow. Yep. Uh, the one, uh, my favourite is actually made in 87, so it's from that, that era. Okay. Um, and it's just it just has the sound, it has the, the feel, the play, you know, the playability as well. So Who makes them then? Uh, made by ESP in Japan. Really? Wow. I didn't know they were Japanese. Yeah. I had no though. idea. Because, you know, I think I've told you, Stewie, I go to Japan every year. Telling a million people every time, every podcast, I do all this shit. <laughs> yep. But I'm always going to secondhand uh, uh, shops because they, there's no such thing as secondhand shops in Japan. It's like it's bad. Uh, oh, it's bad it? for the Shinto religion to buy something that someone else has already owned. Is Carri- that right? Yeah, it carries the spirit. So if, in the the city my wife's from, there's a big American base there, naval base, from when they took over the war. Yeah. So there's a. Only in this city are there a couple of these um, second-hand shops. Right. What the man, hey, arimas, is the like. <laughs> anyway, you go in there. You mad gear there, right? Yeah. Well, I bought a, um, a Gretsch, a, a Malcolm Young nice. signature issue yeah. Yeah, for nothing, man, because no one wants them. So all these Americans are going over there, Picking taking guitars, and then, and then leaving there. But anyway, why I'm asking you, why I'm telling you this is because I saw an ESP, EP, ESP on yep. the wall there, yep. it was a lot of money. Yep. It was like 6000 uh Australian dollars yep. where all the other guitars were about 800 Yep, yep. And I'm like looking at it going, why is it so good? Oh, like, pickups why? in them, the pickups, the wood. But why can't it's well Jap- if it's Japanese then yeah. why? Um, Japanese make good shit. I know, but you know what I mean? Stuff. But the rest of the world don't really care. No. Because they still want that, that American Gibson yeah. yep. sort of thing. And it's all branding, you know. Yeah, well, it depends what sound you're after and, you know, what you want the guitar to do as well, I guess. Yeah. Uh, but that particular guitar of mine, I picked up secondhand, um, pretty cheap. It was under a 1000 bucks. Had a bit of damage to it, but uh, I fixed it up. And Just added to the character, but it looks I wanna sick. I want to see it. I want to see it right now. Oh, dude, you love I was going to tell you guys to bring down some guitars. Mate, you didn't need a truck. Texas some got acapella. so many rad guitars. But yeah, we played, we, we used a whole bunch of guitars in this recording. Like, we used... Schecters, we use PRSs. I use a PRS custom, like a Epiphone version for text. That's a in. beautiful guitar, man. Yeah, yeah. under your hands. Uh, that's it. I haven't played an for ESP, me, but a PRS. For me, it is. It's a slim line neck for yeah. guitaring, but Tex brought in like all the ESPs. So on the on each track, it's kind of you got a different guitar, pretty much, eh? Mm. Yeah, just whatever we felt. Whatever we, he, what, it's whatever right. he he felt. Like bringing down to so be like, I'm, we're recording this song with this guitar today. I'm like, fuck, sweet. Wow. And You're making be- me want to investigate how Metallica ended up playing ESP guitars. It did. If it was a Japanese brand, like, how the hell did that happen? Even probably endorsements and endorsements, yeah. Yeah, but they would have. Uh, I think they, I'm, they're not an American brand, are they? Made in Japan or are they Japan? Japanese made. Japanese they did made. make some in New York back yeah, in the day as well. There you yeah. go. Um, but yeah, mainly J- Japanese made, and uh-huh. then they got the LTD range, which is Korean made, okay, and Indonesian made. So St- Steph Carpenter from the Deftones, all the ESP stuff, yeah. like all the all those to- all those Deftones albums, like they're all like sick guitar wow. tones. Yeah, it's a lot of lot of toys coming from Texas House, <laughs> a lot <laughs> of fucking toys. Yeah, so that's part of the sound. But then we didn't really we went pretty budget on it. I don't want to get into too many details. Give away. <laughs> I just <laughs> love it. Or, or, is anyone in a band yeah. listening to this w- wants to know how garage you know, well, just it was, what you but... like and and the, and the small things. I always say is like what you have for breakfast. You know, like that small crap that people never put on tape is way more interesting to me. You know, like I think the cool thing about it all, like what, from what he told me, was that obviously he was doing it all at home, but. He was sending it to all these different producers and things like people that you think are so far out of reach, you know, like people like Sylvia Massey. Mm. He, he's sending her Horrible. demos and going, "What do you think? Like, what can I do to make it better?" And she's writing back to him and saying, nice. "You should do this," which is, you know, that you can't get that sort of knowledge yeah. from any school. You know, you got to talk to the people that actually do it. And uh, I think he learned a lot from talking to people like that, but. And even with the vocals, we were using just an SM57, like <laughs> handheld in yeah. his bedroom. Like, what is it? What, I don't. Even, what, yeah. I think it was a 58, but it wasn't even a proper yeah. 58. The but people, people 58. Yeah, it's a poor man's 58. <laughs> Which but, I've got. But people yeah. spend all this money, you know, on these crazy vocal mics to get this sound in a studio, and we think we've we've nailed it with a 58. 
right. with a poor man's 58. With a poor man's 58. <laughs> sure. I mean, sure, you know, some ups and downs to, to it, but it's pretty incredible.